Hey everyone, um, I goofed up and I didn't video the windshield when I put it in. Sorry, uh, we battled that. Wish we would have used quarter inch rope to go around the edges instead of three eighths dry. That made it a little difficult. There's the rubber's a little scarred, but it all covers up. So I learned my lesson there. Uh, I'm I don't know what people really want to see on this project but there's little things that I wish were easier to find on different parts different aspects of this uh, but I've got my drive line I'll show you how I measured it uh, I think it's GRS drive lines out of Salt Lake was awesome um, to get a custom drive line from them like this was like 150 bucks cheaper than anywhere else and they were amazing at dilling i say dilling because i don't i don't know anything and i feel like a complete moron when i call and ask questions but steve up there grs drive lines amazing 100 percent recommend so here's the drive line he gave me and i'll show you what i'm doing to put it in and how i measured it so here's my drive line that I got. And the way I measured it was back in there, the flat spot where the bolts go in, you measure from that flat spot to the end of the shaft. And in a previous video, I told you I tried to beat that thing, the old S10 one in there to make see if that yoke would work. It would not, so this one slides in so well, so I'm going to put it in right now. So it, it was surprisingly easy to slide in. It's crazy. I think that sills good. We'll see when we fill this tranny full of fluid when I get a tranny cooler on it. So I went, I got the U-joint clamp, I think is what it's called, for 96 Jimmy. There's two different sizes, they were 16th different. So I bought both of them, taking the other one back, but for this particular one, it uses the Moog, uh, 530-10 and it has the bolts and the straps in there so I'm going to use some Loctite on them tell me if I shouldn't do that but it'll probably be too late by that time so I'm going to put it together yeah sorry about the lighting it's a little dark under here I know under the truck but let's see if I Huh. I don't know how to do this. How do I get that in there? It's all the way that way. I feel like I need to rotate this a little bit. Drops right on me, eh? Maybe. I do did I get the wrong size that'll suck so there's got to be the slide back and forth hmm. 
So, as you can tell from this, I wound up with a drive line that is three quarters to one inch too long. I measured from the center of the U joint to where the yoke fully seats. The drive line measures 58 and a quarter. I need 57 and three eighths. Called the guy up at GRS and he was awesome. I'm taking it up on Friday. He's going to take a look at it and get her lopped off for me. It's two and a half hour drive, but going up there anyway, so not much of a big deal. But such is what I'm getting used to. Learn, learn, learn. I'll know better next time. I'll probably measure it. Uh, but I'm appreciative of my wife picking it up for me. And, but hopefully next video I do, I've got the drive line and I'm putting her in or messing around with the engine is probably the next thing, trying to get fuel figured out on that. But thanks again, everybody, for watching. Appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day, night, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are.